Welcome to Dream Free with V. And Pastor C. Hope all is well. Yes. Tonight we wanted to come to you and just share our um, review on our first camping trip. Um, yeah. This past week we visited Mount Gilead State Park in Mount Gilead, Ohio. It was our very first ever Ever. trip camping trip for either one of us outside of an RV ever in life and so we honestly was nervous we were extremely nervous about what it would be like camping um, what it would be like towing a vehicle and yeah. parking a, a travel trailer um, for the very first time and of course, we were nervous about when we got there and whether or not people were going to be outside mm -hmm. and looking at us and right. laughing at us <laughs> for, you know, all of the mess ups we were going to have right. um, while we were um, trying to get it in. But, um, but yeah, so we wanted to just um, share a little bit of, of, of our trip with you. Absolutely. So um, we did have a few concerns going in mm -hmm. um, aside from the whole parking and and backing up and everything yeah. like that but just the culture um, right. that that it seems that the world is in there's so many things going on and we were concerned mm -hmm. uh, with you know being brown yeah will there be other brown people there we kind of figured not just because of the location, mm -hmm. um, will we be, what type of reception would it be? Right. Uh, there were just a lot of, a lot of, um, just a lot of checks on, on the list to see what, what, what would be comfortable. Right. And we were really, um, didn't really run into a whole lot of issues there. Most people were really kind. Mm -hmm. Most people were really friendly. Um, they were either nice or not. That's pretty right. much how it was. They right. either acknowledged you and and spoke, or they didn't didn't look at you at all, right. or looked at you, you know, from afar. So, um, on a scale of one to ten, I say it was about a seven okay. for me, and um, that may change in the future once we go somewhere else to another campground. Right. Um, but for it being our very first trip. Um, I'd say it was a seven. We had um, full hookups. Yeah. That so was we plus. had, yeah, we had all the hookups that we needed. Right. We were um, in a spot that initially, when my wife booked the spot, we were, of course, excited. But then after I started um, Googling the um, actual campground, yeah. there were quite a few people that said, stay away from spot 25. 25. <laughs> and so, of course, we got spot 25. Of course. Spot 25 um, was and is a handicap accessible spot. So it's a concrete pad that is right in front of the public restrooms, public showers, and public laundry, laundry. area. Um, and I will say that when we when we went, of course we were disappointed because we wanted privacy, um, but we honestly had a good time. I don't really think that um, there was so many people where I felt uncomfortable being outside, being that we were so close to the um to the the restrooms and things yeah. um i didn't really feel like there were people walking through our campsite right. um there were people there, there were, were children yeah. there were pets yeah. um but i didn't feel i didn't feel you know anything really about um about our spot so right. we we got a good spot you know it did right. rain during our um during our trip so the good thing in that we were on a concrete, on concrete. pad we didn't have yeah. to worry about mud we didn't really have to worry about um, many bugs because it was concrete and we were not in the grass and in the dirt so that part was excellent um, and um, and with that I don't think that I would be as concerned going back there at another time of year 
if that were the only available spot. Right, absolutely. And for those of you who have never towed anything mm -hmm. or had to park anything large, understand that being on a concrete slab when it rains or I'm imagining even when it snows, when it's just a lot of wetness and, and sogginess, it's clutch to really be on yeah, concrete. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Trying, I mean, yeah. So just even when it comes down to leveling, yeah, uh, we're really grateful for the concrete so, slab. Right. So what I was thinking when we were there was it was our first trip, and I think that that was the perfect spot for us on our first trip. Yeah. Now, what I will say about um, our spot and our the campground was that Mount Gilead State Park is a really small park. They do have different activities. They have a lake. They have, um, I think it's a river and dam. They have different things um, available. However, the streets are so tiny. Now, I don't know if all parks are going to be like that, um, but there definitely was one room, what, what is it? One, vehicle, trailer, Yeah, car. just one vehicle. <laughs> one, one person. If there was entity. anyone else that had to come, you had to pull over. Yeah. And so it took us some time to get in that spot and had our neighbors across the street had they have been had they have been there when we got there we would not have been able we to park we would have been camping have at the office yeah um that's true but yeah so so i think that was the down for me mm -hmm. the fact that it was just extremely tight yep to get in and get out yep so that was pretty much our experience not mm -hmm. bad um, we are doing a checklist of mm -hmm. the different places that we stay and uh, the positive and the negatives mm -hmm. and absolutes and never going there again or, right um, and so uh, we'll write some things down I'm not exactly sure uh, where it's gonna go on the list yet mm -hmm. but uh, after that we left and we actually drove until we got to a rest stop yeah and that was interesting mm -hmm. because we we drove and we thought initially We'd stay at a Walmart. Um, no, yeah, it we was, were going to try boondocking or something. We were going to try boondocking. Yeah, actually, in a, actually, we were we were hoping to catch another campground heading east. Oh yeah. Um, however, no dice. We were unable to book same day for any place we were looking into. So then we, you know, decided on maybe stopping at a Walmart. That didn't work so well. That didn't work. Um, just so happens every Walmart and every um, area um, where we could have actually parked in the city in which we decided to stop said no overnight parking. And I didn't want to get I didn't want to get woken up out of my sleep and yeah. be forced to move. So we found ourselves <laughs> at a rest stop. At a rest stop. Which that in itself was a little bit challenging yeah. and we were a little bit, uh, you know, we wanted to try to be kind of under the co undercover, <laughs> but you really can't be with that big old RV right. and, uh, where we would have to park. So we were a little leery and um, I, I tell you, one thing I could definitely say to everyone who um, decides to go on this adventure with a partner, uh, a lover, a spouse or whatever y'all better like them a lot a lot like i like her yeah 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 mm -hmm. like what's love got to do with it <laughs> you need to like them too yeah. you need to like them too like them a lot yeah. because um you know just making decisions and and driving and the fr and different frustrations um going on all at the same time you need to be able to still communicate effectively yeah. um and make decisions so we did stay at the rest stop it was a little sketchy, but I tell you, it was probably the we best night's sleep. We got a good <laughs> night's <nice> rest. <laughs> At that rest, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. when we woke up, I would not, 
I would not have known I was at a rest stop if mm -hmm. I didn't know I was at a rest stop. Yeah. I mean, we slept pretty good. Slept not bad, and I told her the next day, it actually felt like we were on a cruise because <laughs> we were so close to the highway that every time a truck went by, it you know, the, the whole trailer moved. So sleeping kind of felt like, you know, we were on the ocean cruise. Right. So I was okay with that. It, was, it wasn't bad. It was it not wasn't bad. bad. Yeah, so... Um, we didn't have any electricity uh, mm -hmm. because we didn't have um, we didn't have a generator and we had no way of obviously hooking up. So um, we knew that, but it was kind of late when we pulled in, and we knew we'd be getting on the road pretty early. So uh, we were okay with not having any electricity. We were safe. We made sure everything was locked up. Um, you know, kept flashlights close to us mm -hmm. and uh, called in the night. So not bad, not bad for our, our first uh, round of drives and trips and journeys mm -hmm. um i think i think we're doing okay what do you think? i think we are doing pretty good <laughs> absolutely and i'm glad we we stepped out absolutely okay. and we've learned a whole 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 lot so there's going to be a couple of videos coming simultaneously mm -hmm. um and with just a lot of information that we've learned in this short time and lessons that we've learned in this short time um mm -hmm. that are are really vital um, that that you know and um, it's it's I tell you it's it's life changing, mm -hmm. it's life changing, I agree. Um, it's priority changing, and it's reflective. Uh, so far, it's it's a lot, mm -hmm. you know it's it's a lot. So we'll talk about that in the next couple of videos. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate your support. We appreciate you supporting um, the dream, the vision, um, and the journey. Yeah. So, all right, guys, dream free. Take care.